All right. Well, happy Tuesday, everybody. Looks like the sun's out where everybody's at. I'm going to change my view because the sun's so bright. Such a tough life when the sun's so bright. All right, you guys, come on over to the comment section so we can see what we're doing today. Um, we're going to start off with two minutes of cardio. So again, you guys get to pick your choice of cardio. If you do have the opportunity to go out for a jog, I'd really encourage you guys going out for a jog. Um, there's just something about running, you guys, assuming that everything works, your body's good with it. Um, that's just helpful, right? It's uncomfortable, right? <laughs> but it's really good just to get that heart rate and get that blood flowing. Once we're done with that, you guys, we're going to go ahead and do uh, a three-minute EMOM. So every minute on the minute, you guys, we're going to start off with 10 up-downs. So again, we'll go over that in a second. And then we're going to do max body weight good mornings. So just so we're all clear, you guys, just the up-down is going to be like so. We're just going to reach for the deck. And we're going to step out or jump out into that high plank. Come up onto the feet flat. And we're just going to keep on doing that for 10 repetitions. Now, from here, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get into the good morning. So hands are going to be behind the head. And we're just going to keep those legs relatively straight as we pull those hips back. Feel those hamstring stretches. And then come all the way up. Okay, so sway those hips back. If you want to soften those legs or soften those knees, that's fine. But we're just going to keep doing that after we're done with the good mornings. All right, so... Just as a review, guys, we're going to go ahead to two minutes of cardio. Morning, Colleen. And then we are going to go right into a three-minute EMOM of 10 up-downs. And whatever is remaining in that minute will go good mornings. So, all right, everybody. Go ahead and give me that thumbs up, you guys. Yeah, thumbs up, muscle flex, whatever you guys got. Power stance, there we go. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. And three, two, one, and here we go. So we got two minutes, you guys, of any type of cardio that you want. So I would say go out for a jog and then come on back. I even say, Colleen, go out your barn, go out to that gate, come back, maybe get that once, maybe twice. Love it. Seeing everybody gone is looking good because we have two full minutes of cardio. All right, you guys. If you guys are watching this on the replay, you guys are 45 seconds into your run. All right, everybody, we have one minute left. One minute left, everybody. There we go. There you go. All right, 45 seconds, everybody. kind of funny right now I feel like the guy on the zoom call nobody's there yet but that's not true because we are doing our two minutes of cardio all right you guys 25 seconds left all right 15 seconds left hey puppy all right 10 seconds all right you guys go ahead and get set Five, four, three, two, and up downs. Here we go, going down to the floor, stepping out or jumping out, and then stepping up or jumping up and standing up. Here we go. So 10 up downs, everybody. I'm going to let you guys know where you guys are at in the minute. We're about to come up on the 30 seconds. And then what is remaining with those up-downs is we're going to do good mornings.
All right, 20 seconds. So once you guys are done with those up down, let's go right into those good mornings. Yep. So a big thing from here, you guys, pull those hips back. You want to look forward, so you're keeping that back flat. There we go. So it's a real effort. All right, up downs in two, one, begin. Okay, 10 up downs, everybody. And then whatever is remaining in that, you are going to do good mornings. So we're right into that new minute again, everybody. So for three minutes, we're gonna do 10 up downs. What? Yep, go ahead and go right to your up downs, Colleen. So we have 10 up downs at the top of every minute. Okay. Um, yeah, you got it, you got it. What's a good morning? So the good morning, just go ahead and do the, uh, the up downs. Good mornings are gonna be this. Uh, but you don't do up, you don't do good mornings until you're done with your up downs. So at the top of every minute, yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. I finished them. Oh, we're, we're starting a new minute now. So you're gonna okay. do up down, yeah. All right, three, <sighs> two, one. All right guys, new minute, start all over again, up downs. So every minute is up downs. And then whatever was remaining in that minute, you're gonna do good mornings. There we go, everybody. All right, nicely done, everybody. We're moving and grooving. Looking good, looking good. There we go. Just swaying those hips back. All right. All right, 10 seconds, everybody. All right, in three, two, one, and stop. Okay. Rest, you guys, grab some water. So we actually have a new movement today. We're gonna to call it a dumbbell pullover. And then we're gonna be doing some floor presses. All right, now if you guys have a bench today, that would be awesome. But if you guys don't have a bench, that's no big deal at all. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells real quick. All right, so, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and go through a new movement today, you guys. So I'm gonna start off with one dumbbell. Um, and if I have light enough dumbbells, then I'll use two of them, but I'm gonna go off the first one and I'm gonna hold it length longwise, right? So I'm gonna hold it longwise. And we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lay on the deck and I'm gonna go ahead, have my knees bent. And then from here, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna to touch the floor and I'm gonna pull right over my head. So I'll go all the way down, touch, and then I'm gonna pull all over the deck. Now, if I have two dumbbells, you guys, then I'm gonna hold it like so. I'm gonna come all the way down, touch, and then come all the way up. And what I'm pulling through, you guys, is going to be my lats. So the back muscle right here. So when you, if you flex your arm and you like pull it down, you can feel a muscle underneath somewhat of your armpit. So that's your latimus dorsi for the dork purposes right there, you guys. Um, but that's what we're moving, right? So when we're doing that, you wanna keep your arms straight, come all the way down, and then you wanna come right back to the over part of your body. So let's try that out real quick. Let's make sure we're all on the same page. So. A thing that um, I want to put a huge emphasis on is if you have light enough dumbbells, then you can push the dumbbells together, knuckle to knuckle, come all the way back, touch the floor behind you, and then come all the way up. So this is going to be that floor, I'm sorry, the dumbbell pullover. 
and the idea also is we kind of want to keep those arms straight. So it's not just a tricep extension, but here, touch, and then pull it over. Right? And then with the part where you'll stop at, you'll stop at your chest. So you'll reach back, touch the deck, come right back up. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to do bench presses. So that's the cool thing right there, what you have, Chris, because you can do a little bit more range of motion. Now, with the bench press, you guys, we're just going to do a floor press. And if you don't have a bench, that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that floor press. We're going to land on your back, elbows to the deck, all right, and then come all the way up. Now, when we're on the deck, you guys, we don't want those elbows exactly out, and we don't want them too tight to the body, but in between. So it's kind of like in between, kind of a real strong pushing position. So let's go ahead and do that floor press, everybody. Lay on your back and do some floor presses. We'll do five of them. There we go. And then Tina, when you're doing those, I would just spin them a little bit more, right? So the, on that one, you're not gonna go knuckle to knuckle. You're gonna rotate them. Yep, there we go. That's a strong position, what you got right there. And then, okay. So then what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're going to do four sets, okay? We're gonna do 12 of those dumbbell pullovers, and then we're gonna do 12 of the uh, dumbbell floor presses. And again, if you do have a bench, by all means, let's use that bench. And that will just give you a little bit more range of motion of those elbows coming down. But let's go ahead and do 12 pullovers and then 12 dumbbell floor presses or 12 bench presses, okay? Let's go ahead and start that right now. And movement-wise, does that all make sense? Yeah. Thumbs up if it all makes sense. All right, all right, perfect, perfect, thank you. There we go. And we wanna feel this underneath our armpits. That's kinda of where the, the main feeling once we want. And so we're gonna get 12 of these. And then once you're done with those, then we're gonna go ahead and get 12 dumbbell floor presses or bench presses. There you go. Now, when we're doing the dumbbell presses, you guys, I don't want you guys to do knuckles to knuckles. I want you guys to do like uh, fist to fist, essentially, right? The inside of each dumbbell are gonna be facing each other or touching each other, so to speak. So instead of like a hammer curl or a beer mug, it's gonna be actually mimicking almost like a, a barbell. There we go. All right, yeah, go ahead and rest. Once you guys are done with that set, go ahead and rest. In about 30 seconds, you guys, we'll go into the next set. All right. All right, when you guys feel ready for that next set, you guys, let's go ahead and move right into it. Again, our strength portion, you guys, we're not ever really trying to rush through it. We want to take the time, treat it like a, like a skill session. And again, you can always play with uh, 
So what I would do with that pullover, Chris, is I would put your hands on the outside of the dumbbells. So you have a, like on the black part. Yeah. If you feel good about that part, yeah. Yeah. Don't drop. Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The big thing, I think if you went with the lighter, can you have the, do you have the 10s or the 12s? I, I have, I have 10s. Yeah. Yeah. Just try that. Just kind of, because the big part is to get the real feeling of what the movement is asking for. And it's like a stretch. And then as you pull it up, you're kind of like you're flexing that back muscle. And it's not your armpit muscle, by the way, but it's a really good kind of area of, of where your muscles are. So if you kind of tap your armpit and you go down your side a little bit towards the back, that's going to be your lat. Since you guys are all beasts, it should be bulging out pretty much with all those muscles. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good job. See, a lot of this thing, I don't really, I don't think you guys realize this, is part of your job is always to humor my jokes. So, so yeah, thank you, Eva. Eva always humors it, so I appreciate it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, once you guys are done, right, once you guys are done with those floor presses, go ahead, kind of rest a little bit, and then go right back into another set. So we normally do like an every minute on the minute type of thing, but I kind of want you guys to go at your own pace right now. Nice job, Colleen. Yeah, this is a really cool movement, you guys, especially if you guys have like a medicine ball or a BOSU ball or something that you could even just kind of, ooh, like that half BOSU ball, even like you have. Um, you know, it just allows your back to be on something and then gives you a little bit more range of motion, so. So just keep moving, you guys. Again, as you guys finish up your your uh, your your bench press, yep. So I would spin those dumbbells, Colleen, a little bit more to the left and right, like kind of rotate it. So your knuckles, yeah, just like that, just a little bit. And this is going to be splitting hairs, but even if like a half an inch, rotate extra less. So other direction, that'll be kind of like a strong, yeah, just like that. It'll be kind of a stronger, we call it an athletic position. We got a loud fan. Can you hear it? Yeah. Well, not really. I got a, I got a train. Can you hear it? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Nope. All right, you guys should be finishing up your third set. All right, catch that breath, you guys, again. And if you guys are ready for your last set, go ahead and go to your last set. And then for the floor presses, you guys, those bench presses, if the floor presses feel super easy, uh, you can always turn them into a hand release push up. That would make them a little bit more difficult. Or if you're good to go, just let it be.
from yesterday. Everybody, um, I got a text message from your body yesterday. It said, thank you for doing all the good stuff that you're doing to it. So um, just wanted to uh, relay that message to you. Thanks. Body. Yeah, you bet. You bet. <laughs> What was the message? Your body was texting me. It said, hey, thanks. Tell, uh, tell Eva, Nick, and everybody in the room for uh, pushing yourself and doing the hard work. I said, hey, you're welcome. I'll pass, I'll pass that message, guys. So if your body hasn't been thanking you. But actually, your body thanks you with being sore. So Yes, yeah. right. It's, it's, it's a nonverbal thank you, by the way. Right. Yes. So, all right. Lots of it's actually pretty verbal. My husband wonders why I keep groaning all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll tell you a funny story really quick because we have all the time in the day. Um, so we had, you know, uh, the first, because I guess flood of people that joined my my gym in the beginning at the park in the beginning, beginning in Seattle were just ladies, and then you know, a dude kind of trickled in here and there, and then he would be there, and dudes like whatever reason for whatever reason we think we just grunt, I guess. Well, there's this one girl, her name was Kelly, and Kelly, she, like, was the first girl to actually grunt in our gym, and then after that, all the girls started grunting. It was like, once one person <laughs> broke the seal, it was all good to go. So, anyways. That's why I turn on my mute, but I had to turn uh. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. I'm not talking during the workout. I like sit down for dinner and I grow. Oh. I sit down for dinner and I grow. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Oh, see, that's even more BA there, Chris. That's way cool. You're like, oh, oh sorry, babe. I was working out this morning, a little sore. <laughs> um, all right. Hey, so let's go over, everybody. Let's go over what we're going to be doing today. Um, and then before we are going to go through that, you guys, let's go with kind of like what's going to be a highlight for our day today, something that we're looking forward to. So I'll let you guys think about that. But we're going to work for uh, three imams, essentially. We're going to have a five-minute running clock, okay? So a five-minute running clock in the first series is going to be 20 suitcase lunges, 15 renegade rows, 20 push presses, Okay. All we're doing, right, is that, those three movements, top to bottom, and then what's remaining in that five minutes, we are just going to be doing burpees. Right? Nick's like, yeah. Go slow. I'm gonna go real fast, yeah. <laughs> all right, so for five minutes, you guys, that's all we're gonna be doing, those three movements, and then when you get done with those movements, we're gonna get as many burpees as we can. Now. We are tracking the burpees today, okay? Now, we're gonna rest two minutes. We're then gonna set a seven minute running clock and we're gonna do the same movement. We're gonna do lunges, renegade rows, push presses, just the repetitions are a little bit higher. So 30 lunges, 25 renegade rows, 30 push presses, okay? Ooh. All right, so let's go over this really quick and make sure that we're all lined up. So with the lunges, they can be with dumbbells or without dumbbells. I'm going to let you guys make that decision, okay? Um, renegade row. So let's go over that really quick. We have two versions sometimes when it comes to a renegade row. With a push-up, without a push-up. Today, we're going to do with a push-up. So what we'll do is we'll start it with a push-up today. So dumbbells are going to be on the deck. We'll go push-up, toes or knees. Left side, right side, that's one. Okay, that'll be two. Okay? And then dumbbells in that rack position with the push press. Remember, as we dip, you guys, that chest stays up. So as we drive, like we stand up, you're going to push those dumbbells to the ceiling. All right? So we're using those legs for that movement. If your dumbbells aren't that heavy, by all means, go into a strict press. If any of you guys have been around me enough, I'm so into those strict movements just because I think overall that body proofs or bulletproofs your body, uh, shoulders and hips and everything like that. So, 
Um, questions? Concerns? Um, cool quotes of the day. Okay. All right, Eva, what are you looking forward to today? Oh, um, I am looking forward to um, maybe going swimming, maybe lake, I don't know yet. All right, Nick. <laughs> Staying cool. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to being sore because I haven't been sore in like a week and a half. <laughs> what about you, Chris? I'm sore. <laughs> It's supposed to be like 80 here today, so it's starting to feel like summer. All right. Tina. Oh. Uh, I guess I think you're muted, Tina. Oh, I said just seeing some friends today. All right. Colleen. <laughs> I'm going to teach a class tonight. All right. All right. Well, let's go ahead and kick this off, you guys. I'm going to start the five-minute running clock, you guys, in 10 seconds. So if you're going to do lunges with dumbbells, get your dumbbells. If not, just get ready to start doing some lunges. Again, 20 total lunges, 15 renegade rows, 20 dumb, pre dumb, dumb presses, dumbbell presses. All right, everybody. Here we go. Three, two. One, and here we go. Lunges, just nice and easy, guys. And take some advice from Nick. He says, go slow. <laughs> you get to those burpees with like three minutes left. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, Eva. Yeah. So really focusing on each movement, you guys making sure that that front foot is flat, you know, that shin is straight up and down. Nice. I think having the ability to just kind of take a break in your morning or get up, you know, just to start your workout or designate a spot in your room just or area just to work out is, I think it's super important. And I think it's super cool because, uh, you know, anytime that you hear excuses of you can't do something, you know, it's cool because it's, they're available to you, you know? All right, 20 renegade rows. So start with the push up. There we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. And with those renegade rows, if you wanted to widen up those feet eventually when you get there, that creates a little bit more of a base. I thought it was 15. What? Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's 20, It's 15. That was a joke. <laughs> I looked at the wrong number. 20, 15, 20 is going to be our rep scheme this five minutes. 15 pounds, dumbbells? Huh? 20 lunges, 20 renegade rows, are so 20 push presses. There we go, Chris. Yeah. The renegade rows. <laughs> They're very renegade. Yeah. <laughs> don't feel happy. don't feel bad having to take a break in between after every five or so. Like they're not meant to be super easy. That's why when you stop for a second, you're like, geez, oh Pete, these are not easy. I, I guess my question is like Am I supposed to be back like this, or should I be more? I yeah. Here's a really good indication. I would be a little bit more walking forward and letting your torso or your hips kind of like so your butt's kind of like like this, and I would say start to lengthen out everything so it's more of like a flatness. Because yeah, so I would walk my knees back a little bit because you you want to feel the pull or the the brace in the midsection. <clears throat> And I guess it's more like the arms. I'm supposed to be yeah. straight up, not pulling back. Yeah, you want to be underneath your body. Yeah, you want your shoulders on top of your wrists, essentially. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
There we go. <laughs> Nicely done, you guys. Keep moving. All right. We got a little over a minute. Twenty push presses after you guys are done with the renegade rows. Barely lift my arms. <laughs> I did a, a workout this morning that had like floor presses and push ups in it. I'm like, oh geez. Make sure I get to these. So push presses or strict presses, whatever you guys want. I have some people that I work with that have kind of like more tender backs. So the push press, like the moving of the knees, isn't awesome. So all everything is relatively strict. Abs are tight. Yep. Man. We got what, 15s there, Chris? Yeah, that's good. So the push press, you guys, like this is kind of how I explain. The push press is like a 75% more of your legs, 25% of the upper body. So if your dip, meaning you're lowering, and your drive, meaning you standing up, kind of like jump, is efficient, those dumbbells are just gonna shoot over your head. You just got to punch them. All right, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this is what I want you guys to track. Okay. I know, I know. I feel like you guys game that. Uh, so this is what I want you guys to do. So we're gonna have two minutes of break. I want you guys to write down someplace how far you got through. So if you did the, the lunges, you did the renegade rows, and let's say you did, I don't know, 10 push presses, right? You got, is it what, 45 total repetitions, right? If you guys got into burpees, right? There's like 55 repetitions there. And then whatever the burpees you got would be added to that. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so so how far did you get, Tina? A thing said twenty. I don't. Even... So uh, we did the. So you did the lunges, you did the renegade rows, and then how many push presses did you do? I did. I think twenty. Oh, beautiful! Did you get in the burpees? No. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, so you got 55 then, Tina. Okay. Yeah, nice job. Nice job, nice job. All right, so we do have 30 seconds, you guys. Now, the thing that's going to change here is that we are then going to move our clock into a seven-minute running clock, okay? So we're going to go right back to those lunges again, okay? Preferably with those dumbbells. 25 renegade rows. And then 30 push presses. All right, so the goal is to get through all of those repetitions, which would be 85 full repetitions, and then burpees after that. All right, so get close to those dumbbells because we're about to start in five. Can you read the coach? The numbers? Yep, 30, 25, 30. Are we going? Not yet, not yet. All right, here we go. Five, four, Three, and here we go. Seven minute running clock has begun. Okay, so lunges, right? Dumbbells are to your side if we have them holding. If we're not gonna use dumbbells, just kind of keep your hands on your hips to your side, all right? But we're just stepping back, dropping that back knee to the deck. There we go. All right, lunges, everybody. 30 total. Okay, the thing about the lunges, guys, is remember that front foot has to be flat and that front shin has to be relatively vertical, okay? Now, you can always use that front knee to push off of if you're not using dumbbells. Everything is doable. 
everything is doable. There we go. Just think one at a time, take a deep breath. Exhale as you come up. There we go. After lunges, we have renegade rows. Okay, 15 renegade row, or 25 renegade rows on this series. So what I would do, Colleen, is I would do a push-up and then I'd do a shoulder tap on each side. So I'd do the push-up and then tap, tap, and just keep on doing that. Because that's for the renegade rows, right? Yep, but tap each shoulder though. Do your push-up and then tap each shoulder. One. There we go. All right, so after lunges again, we're going to go ahead and do 25 renegade rows. So the goal, you guys, just on the push-up, just so we're clear, is even if you're on your knees, I want your chest as close to the ground as possible. Imagine there's like a buzzer at the bottom of the floor. And every time that your chest hits the buzzer, it counts as a push-up. And then I get a text. There we go. Right? There we go, everybody. Nice job, nice job. Shake those arms out when you need it. All right, chest all the way down. There we go. All right, once you guys are done with your renegade rows, we're gonna go right into your push presses. Again, they can be push presses, they can be strict presses, your call. And we're doing 30 on this series. Thanks, Joe. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, everybody, we have two minutes. All right, we have one minute. Hello. All right. 
I keep on going. One minute, everybody. Fifteen seconds, everybody. Almost there. Keep it going. Five, four, three, and stop. Nicely done, everybody. All right, you guys, let's go ahead. What we're going to do is we are going to track all of your repetitions to get my app open really quick so if i don't know if you guys have seen this and everybody in here should have the the full access so when you go into sugar wad you guys you should be able to see two types of programming you should see workout of the day and then you should see stoneway go and the stoneway go i've given everybody access because i've created like a private group so just, just so everybody's all clear and everything. Do you guys can? Do you guys all have that app already? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Cool. So the neat thing is that uh, on this one, you guys, is I want you to when you guys get in a moment, is I want you to go in there and log your results. Okay. The most important part I want you guys to go into is I want you to go into the mobility piece. You can scroll all the way down into the mobility piece and that's your area where you can actually do some stretching okay and it's gonna there's gonna be a video in there that i'm gonna start adding oh, okay. right all right all right and let's go into the comment section you guys add how many repetitions that you guys did You know, we're kind of matching shirts right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we got the memo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, hey, as we guys, as we start to wind down, let's get close to the screen. We'll get ready for our photo. <laughs> There we go. Hey, Scott, Nick had to get one just like you at the gym. Oh, hey. It feels good, right? Yeah. Very large. Yeah. It's very loud, too, but you know what? It's so worth it. <laughs> All right. Teacher. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead. Let's get ourselves set up for our photos. All right, here we go. Colleen, you ready for the photo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. Oh, I like it. I like it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good job today, everybody. Nice work. Um, Tina, I will talk to you later on. Colleen, I'll Sounds talk good. to you later on. Chris, have a great day. Nick and Eva, good seeing you guys Thank as you. always. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow good morning. Day. Same time, same place. Yay. See you guys. Yeah.